green olives are immature olives. When they mature, they turn black, or sometimes brown more than black. A couple of years ago, I visited with a woman in France who was half French and half Greek. And while I was there, she showed me how to cure black olives to make them edible and get rid of those bitter compounds. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to salt cure black olives. This is what you would buy in the store as Kalamata olives. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean my olives. So I'm gonna take out the stems and the ones that don't look so good, the ones that maybe are damaged or a little puny, and just get them ready so that I know I'm gonna make the best quality olives possible. And now I've gotta wash these off. I'm just gonna rinse them. The next thing is to take a little knife and just poke a hole in each olive. I just need to pierce the skin so the salt can get through to the flesh underneath. Yeah, this is a little tedious, but it's worth it in the long run. The next thing to do is to mix the olives with salt. I'm using sea salt, and I'm gonna use roughly two parts olive to one part salt. So let's see how many olives we actually have. Okay, that's actually ah, another four. So we have about eight cups. That means I need four cups of salt. There's the first two cups. Now I need two more. I want to mix all of this. As the salt penetrates into the olives, it's going to pull the liquid out of the olives. And along with that liquid is going to come all those bitter phenols. So by the time all these olives are actually salt cured, all the bitterness is going to be gone, most of the bitterness, just leaving enough behind to give it that interesting complex flavor that we associate with Kalamata olives. Now that these are all mixed together, it's time to put them in a bag. I'm using one of these bags they sell for buying vegetables in the market. Just scooping it all in. That fit pretty well. Now that I've got all the salt and all the olives in this nice bag, if I were in France, this would get hung on the branch of a tree, but I'm not in France, so I'm gonna hang it in my laundry room on the rack I use for hanging hand wash. And as all of the nasty stuff drips out, that's the water and the, the really bitter phenols and all that, I don't want them to drip on the floor. So I'm gonna suspend it over a bucket. And every couple of days I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just mix everything together. And in a few days I might discover that I need some more salt, that's fine. And I'll do that for a couple of weeks and I'll watch to see when they get all nice and shriveled. And at that point, then we'll have Kalamata olives. The olives have cured, but they're really salty, saltier than I think taste good. So I put some into this container. I've added water because I want to dilute the salt back a little bit. So I'm going to leave them for a few days, then I'm going to taste one. And if it tastes good, great. If not, I'm going to change the water, put it back in the fridge, and I'll do that repeatedly until they taste just right. Here we go. Beautiful, salt-cured Kalamata olives.